You ready for a recipe for a great day? My name is Rebecca Abraxas. I'm a vibrational alignment facilitator and a sound healer. So on my channel is all things about remembering your greatness, Most, mostly light language and sound baths and yoga nidras. And, and I also do these videos on life hacks. So this is going to tell you about how to use your morning practice most effectively. I've noticed that there's two categories, two categories to a morning practice that are super important. And I'm going to tell you what to put in these two categories to make your morning practice super potent that so that you have a great day and you sustain a nice, consistent, high, peaceful frequency. So take notes. Here we go. Uh, the first thing in the morning, the first category is emptying. So what do I mean by emptying? I mean, you want to let go, let go of dense vibration. So we want to think of everything as vibration. And when you wake up, maybe you are having some dreams. Maybe you still have something on your mind about a relationship. Maybe all of a sudden there's things on your to-do list and, oh, things you're thinking about work. What you want to do is empty that all out. The first thing I do to empty is have detox tea, something with dandelion in it. So I take my detox tea and I just start to let go of anything in my digestive tract that is not working for me. So that's the first thing. I let go with detox tea. Then what I want to do is I go in and I get ready to meditate. Before I do that, I get on my yoga mat and I do yoga. Yoga, Hatha yoga is so powerful to release density out of the muscles, out of the body. So do like a five minute to an hour practice where you're going to your edge with, with actively contracting and stretching your muscles, go to the edge and breathe into it, you're gonna release, you're gonna empty out the density out of the body. Super important. Um, some things that you could do, you could do a sun salutation, you could do a moon salutation, you could um, do pranayama, you could do um, the warrior sequence. Whatever it is, make sure you're doing it with an active contraction and stretch, an active stretching and you go to your edge where you're just like, ooh, but you still can breathe deep and fully. So that's gonna help you empty out the density from your body. Then what I do is I do some sounding, super important. You can hum or you can just start letting out sound. Go into those parts of your body and your mind that's, that are kind of keeping you kind of alert or agitated like you just want to let that go and you can start humming um and put that hum into any area maybe your neck feels tight maybe you have a stomach ache maybe you um your feet hurt you know whatever it is in the morning we want to feel good and that humming will start to help you empty out the density so once i've done that i sit in meditation I sit in meditation and part of the meditation is about emptying, emptying the mind, right? Just empty it out. So these are things that I do in my morning practice that are about letting go and emptying dense frequency. And on some mornings, so usually every other morning I do this, I do a sauna, an infrared sauna, about 10, 20 minutes. Saunas are another emptying process. You're sweating things out. You're detoxing. So think of your morning, your first part of your morning practice as emptying. All things that are going to help you let go and empty out any density, any frequencies, body, mind, spirit, thoughts, emotions, trauma, anything that you can process and release. That is part of your emptying process. So after that, then you want to fill up. And so from empty, we're going to fill. So the second part of your morning practice is filling up, 
filling up with what? With high frequencies. So one of the things I do in um, meditation, my second part of my meditation, I'm filling up. I'm filling up with guidance from source, from my guides. Um, uh, my guides are from my ascended council. And I fill up with inspiration, creativity, thoughts on what's next in this day. And I'm filling up with inspired thoughts and actions. All right. Um, the other thing I do is I fill up with light through sound. So I ask source to flow through me as me, for me, through my voice, and I have light codes that come through my voice. And I make sure I tone out and I tune myself, fill myself up with these light frequencies. Now when I'm toning, and I ask for those light codes to come through, I'm filling up as well. I'm imagining that I'm filling up every cell and space of my being, every part of the cell, the mitochondria, the cell wall, every space between the cell walls. I'm filling that all up with those light codes. So I'm filling up. Uh, another thing I do is I fill up my body with nourishing food nourishing food that has that's organic that's light that has light in it i fill my body up with that nourishing food as well as filling up with a hydration drink sometimes water is not enough this is all part of my morning practice <clears throat> filling up with a hydration drink now you might have those little hydration packs that's great now if you don't have that well, you can make your own by just putting a sprinkle of salt and just a little bit of some kind of sweetener, whether it's apple, apple juice or a little bit of honey. Uh, but you just want to put a little bit of sugar, a little bit of salt in your water to help your cells take in the water into the cells. Sometimes when we're drinking water, it looks like we're a dry plant. We give our body so much water, but the, the cells aren't taking the water in. It needs a little bit of electrolytes and that's sugar and water to pull it into the cells. That'll help you to stop peeing so much too when you're trying to get hydrated. So these are the things, the second part of my morning practice I do to fill up, fill up with light, fill up with nourishment, just fill myself up. The last thing I do is fill myself up with the right thoughts that want to get me in the trajectory of my great day. So thinking about, you know, gratitude. Gratitude is an energy that is going to totally get you in the trajectory of a great day, line you up vibrationally with a great day. Gratitude, appreciation, doing rampages of appreciation. These type of thoughts, this is what we want to fill our mind up with, okay? Um, believing in yourself. Uh, doing inspirational reading, um, singing a song that has that's inspiring. Fill your mind up with inspiring, empowering thoughts. And so this is how I start my day. Now you might ask, how the heck do you have so much time to do this? Um, I do have a very flexible schedule these days. And I make sure that I have time in the morning or that I make time in the morning for emptying and filling up. Now, you can do this kind of quickly. So once you get in the routine of it, you know, this morning just got out there, I made my detox tea, I made my hydration drink, and I made my nourishing food. I brought that in here, did 10 minutes of yoga while the sauna was heating up, medita meditated in the sauna, um, so, you know, it's like once you get into these routines, you know, you want to give yourself a good hour, a good hour for your morning practice, at least. So start your day at 6 a.m. if you need to. Um, but you just want to get those pieces like all lined up. So once I had all my drinks and food ready, did my yoga, meditated in the sauna instead of separating it all, right? Um, and then in the shower, what I do is listen to um, Abraham. 
Abraham Hicks and I listened to her rampages of appreciation. So I got in all my emptying and all my filling up and within like within under an hour. So, and then I share it and then I share it because it feels so good to share when I'm filled up, when my cup is full and overrunneth, I share it and I share it over on my TikTok. I make, you know, two to six TikToks when I come on here and, and I just share, I do lives with my Facebook community and lives with my TikTok community. And this is what fills me up in my day. So it fills me up to share, to share the wisdom that I get from my morning practice. So that's it. What is your morning practice like? Do you Is this helpful to look at it like emptying and, and filling up? For me, that really helps me look at it like, oh, these are the different things that are, are fitting in and I need to get in for the best day possible. So this is my recipe for a great day. Now, once you have your morning practice and you feel really filled, how do you, st how do you keep that, right? Like you go to the news and you see something negative or you have an interaction with a colleague or your partner and, and you feel triggered, right? How do we keep the essence of that morning practice? The first thing is, is that you've done your morning practice so you have your baseline. You've created your baseline for the day. So most likely you will not get as triggered or stressed because you've, you've made this baseline. But if you do, what you want to do is, is pause and go take a safe seat. Go pause and sit somewhere else away from whatever's triggering you. One hand on your, over the other on your heart. And you're going to go in and ask some questions. You're going to go in and ask, you know, what's the story here? What am I feeling? What are my sensations? How old am I being? Because any time we are getting triggered, uh, usually we're living from a past reality trauma or, or uh, um, programming. So we want to update the program instantly. And to do that, you're going to go in and see what's going on. What are you sensating? What are you remembering, right? And then you start doing self-soothing. I'm here. You're okay. As if you would soothe your own child, right? You're soothing your inner child. It's amazing work. And then from there, once you feel soothed, what I do is I love um, letting out a tone. I call it a somatic vortex note. So once I have found my center again and I feel peaceful, I let out, ooh, and I take it and I just brush it around my whole field. That frequency of feeling nourished, relieved, neutral, centered, peaceful. I let it out in a note and I fill myself back up. And then I'm ready. And so this is, this is how I live. <laughs> this is how I live consciously working through triggers, not bypassing anything, but also this is how I live to sustain my high vibration throughout the day and how to sustain my morning practice and sustain a great day till the end of the day. So let me know what you've, you've liked so far about what I said about the morning practice and sustaining your frequency. Let me know in the comments what pearl is, is sticking with you. I'd love to know. And what questions do you have about the morning practice and the two elements I was talking about and, and how to sustain your frequency? So, cause it's, if we can always get to a happy place, right? It's, it's easy to get to a happy place. Watch a show, go to a yoga class, listen to some music. You know, we can, we can raise ourselves up quickly, but sustaining that is another thing. And we don't want to go through life like, oh, I, you know, I'm happy. I'm not, I'm happy, I'm not, uh, you know, and it's like these huge like gaps. That's how I used to live as a teenager in my early twenties. And literally it was hell. It was hell on earth. And I was suffering. You know, are you suffering? Are you suffering with these big gaps 
You really know how to be joyful and happy, but you also really know how to be in the gutter too. This is what sustaining high frequency can be. So instead of the gap being this big, you want to do this. It doesn't mean you're not going to get triggered. It just means that you don't have to go through the depths of all that. You can go here and learn how to process more evenly and less deep. And that's what I mean about sustaining. It doesn't mean that you're going to have toxic positivity and bypass anything. It means you're going to live with more awareness and live more consciously with these tools I'm talking about so that you can live more present and peaceful and have more great days in a row. You know, back in the day, I could go through months of being moody and depressed. You know, can you relate? Let me know in the comments. Can you relate? Like, it was hard going through months and months of depression and moodiness. And now I, that's like, if something happens, it lasts maybe a total of like 24 hours. So it feels really good to be in this space. Granted, I'm 51 now and, you know, I've really worked my life this way to get to this point where I can sustain and, and pick myself up and sustain high vibration. But it does require that I go back to my morning practice every morning. I empty and I fill myself up. So let me know if you have any questions about this and let us know what your morning practice looks like. What's your recipe for a great day? Because we're always learning from each other. I would love to know what works for you. Um, I, I think everyone in this, this, on this channel would love to know uh, some different morning practices. So I told you mine. Let's hear yours now, okay? So let me know in the comments. Let us all know in the comments. And um, thanks so much for being in this tribe. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe. And because um, there's tons of content here. Uh, mostly every Wednesday, I launch a sound bath or yoga nidra. Light language sound bath or a yoga nidra. That's religiously, I do that pretty much every single Wednesday. And um, then I try to sprinkle in one or two more videos about, you know, conscious life hacks, um, just different things like this. So all about awakening and remembering your greatness, remembering who you really are. And when we empty all the density, we start remembering, remembering who we really are in our source nature, our sovereign connection to what we really are, which is that source light. That is what resides here. And we start to let go of that density and we start remembering. <sighs> and one of my favorite ways to do that is through sounding and through voice. So that's what this channel is all about. And um, yeah, subscribe and listen to all the free content. Have fun. Bye.